This is clearly a hate crime. I don't think anybody's going to argue with that. Our suspects specifically pointed out transgender. 65-year-old Mondell Olson is behind bars after police say he left threatening messages here at Nevada High School that he wanted to brand and kill the transgender student featured in this local newspaper article. If this was my child, I'd be I'd be angry. I'd be very mad. The Nevada High School freshman shared his story about being born a girl but identifying himself as a boy. Our suspect, uh, Mondo Olson, uh, read the article, was offended by the article. Police say Olson left two separate threatening voicemails, one on Friday and one on Tuesday, and their glad school officials reported them right away. It's disturbing uh, that, that any anyone uh, would would go through that or would face threats for being who they are and uh, we support all of our students. Olson is charged with harassment, but police say they're frustrated. They can't charge him with a hate crime. It is aggravating and I would like to throw more at him than the book, but I can only do what what's available to us. I hope that we can move this along at the state level. This is why One Iowa, a local LGBT organization, is working to change Iowa law. This is a uh, horrific uh, event and, and this is something that shouldn't happen ever, but it'd be nice for things to be categorized as a hate crime when they're specifically targeted because of their gender identity.